Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabans. We want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We we'll cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we we'll give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And now we see them. And today we got a hell of a show for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit all notifications to be notified the second uh, we publish our content. Let's get into this topic here. Uh, as you guys know, Skip Bayless and uh, the folks there at Undisputed FS1. Uh, have been have have been having a tough go uh, at it ever since Shannon Sharp's departure last June, uh, after the NBA Finals had concluded. You know, Skip was in a rebuilding phase, right? He was reshuffling the deck, uh, and we got various reports that Skip was thinking of revisiting a formula that worked at ESPN First Take, uh, ESPN when he had Cole Pizza and ESPN First Take. Originally, Skip was on this show, and he was the main uh, fixture, the main staple on that show, sort of the centerpiece. And then he had a rotating cast of guests that would come in weekly to debate him on various topics. You would see people like Rob Parker, Chris Broussard, uh, Jalen Rose, Stephen A. Smith, and some others that would, that would join in as well. And ultimately, the show kind of fused into what it became with him and... Uh, uh, Stephen A. Smith, where they had ESPN first, and then, and then ultimately he left, and then Stephen A. Smith did his thing with Max Kellerman. But when he left, he decided to go to FS1, who was really like an up-and-coming uh, uh, network there, and his goal was to compete with ESPN first take uh, during their early morning time slot. And at the time, he tapped Shannon Sharp to be his partner on the show, uh, and when the show debuted, I believe in 2015, it was a hit, right? I loved it. I loved the chemistry that him and Shannon had. I love what they kind of brought to the show. But as time went on, you know, friction started to occur. And then ultimately, uh, things fell apart. And Shannon Sharp was asked to, you know, kindly, you know, exit the company. And then Skip then found himself in a rebuilding phase where he now had to figure out what direction he was going to steer the ship. As the summer went on, we started to hear various names like, Richard Sherman, who I haven't seen in a long time, uh, you know, Keyshawn Johnson, uh, at a certain point, we heard Rachel Nichols and a few others, and they were going to be the people of uh, my, my Michael Irvin. And these people are going to be the people to kind of come in and revamp and revitalize the show. Uh, but what ended up happening was the exact opposite. The show wasn't revamped. Uh, and it started to take a turn for the worse where the ratings started to take a nosedive. Um, and Shannon, on the other hand, who then moved on to ESPN to work on ESPN First Take, ESPN First Take started seeing record numbers in terms of viewership. Since so, and on certain days, they would hit over eight hundred thousand viewers, right? Uh, and then at one point, Skip Bayless and these guys hit uh, you know an all-time low. So what happened this morning? I was doing some research and I came across an article from Deadspin that was published on March fourth, and I actually came across it late. Um, and it says, it's time for FS1 to do something about Skip Bayless and Undisputed. And this is the article that we want to focus in on today. But before we even get into that, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points. And then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks and Damian Lillard. For more, for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And once again, once you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. Let's get into this article here. It says, Skip Bayless is undisputed hit a dry spell since the departure of NFL Hall of Famer and current ESPN first take analyst Shannon Sharp. Bayless's new crew, which includes former NFL stars, uh, rappers, and, and a highly respected media personality, hasn't 
uh, been able to captivate the nation uh, in the same manner Skip and Shannon did for so many years. But now we've seen Skip's vision for new Undisputed, and it's it's time for Fox Sports and FS1 to grow a pair and real Bayless back in. Tuesday's edition of FS1 According to Sports Media Watch Undisputed was the least watch in the new format with just 50,000 viewers. I would assume that 49,000 of them were aggreg aggregators trolling for content. Ouch. And then continues on saying, to put it frankly, it's not working anymore. But in fairness, this show has become less irritating than watching ESPN pull the strings on their puppets leading the competition on that other show Bayless once starred in. Uh, though Stephen A. Smith and his merry band of misfits seem to have, uh, have the right formula, especially since Sharp jumped on board last fall. Last week, Bayless's show hit a new low since returning for the start of the NFL season. The show attracted an average of just 50,000 viewers last Tuesday, which was even lower than the re-air of ESPN's Get Up on ESPN2 the same day. As ratings continue to dip lower and lower, FS1 just sits back and watches, all for the sake of appeasing their supposed golden goose Bayless. Now that we we're through the NFL season, and have some time to breathe for the NBA before the NBA playoffs. FS1 needs to seriously take a closer look uh, at the network. There are two daily shows that start off the live programming portion of the day are programs almost nobody cares about. The Greg Carlton show leading into Undisputed has been a disaster. Carlton show on FS1 has also felt like it's on an island onto itself with no real connection to other shows on FS1's daily lineup. When Sharp was still in the fold on Undisputed, even during the rift towards the end, it was still a solid show that fans love tuning into and chatting about online, even if most hated Bayless. Sharp was the lone redeeming character in the, that partnership, and that's evidence in how far Bayless has fallen over the past several months. We're not even a full year into the split of Sharp and Bayless, and an undisputed clear-cut winner has been crowned. And then the article then goes on, uh, to say a few other things there. So what are my thoughts on this? Listen, what's happening with Skip Bayless is truly remarkable. Uh, for, <laughs> it almost seems like something that occurred overnight. But based on what we can ascertain from the information in front of us, it looks like Shannon may have been disguising some of the low ratings that existed on the show with his presence on the show. Because the only new variable in this entire equation is the fact that they've removed Shannon Sharp. They remove him from the show, they add in other pieces, and you see a significant dip. And ever since his departure, he, uh, Undisputed has been desperately, you know, bringing out various personalities to try to save the show. Now you have Paul Pierce that makes appearances on the show, and I think he's going to be a regular uh, on the show who brings a different flavor. But for whatever reason, people seem to be tuning Skip Bayless out. And it's not just on Undisputed. It's also on YouTube. If you go to his YouTube channel, um, it's an even bigger disaster. And I, and and you know what? I'm not saying we're, we're pros on this. Uh, if I could lend my piece of advice, I think that what Skip needs to do is come off a little bit less uh, um, what is it? Um, premeditated. If you watch Skip's show on, on YouTube, for whatever reason, I don't understand. Skip Bayless writes down every single word that he's going to say, and then he reads it. So why is me as a viewer, would I tune in to watch somebody read something? You might as well just make it a podcast and don't even post it on you. Why am I watching you read something? It just seems too premeditated. He doesn't seem organic. And most importantly, the skip that we're getting on the sh on on his Skip Bayless podcast is not the Skip Bayless that we're getting on TV. This is a boring Skip Bayless. If anything, people should be getting something different, more exciting. But this watered down, like I'm reading every single line, I just think that uh, that's not connecting with people, and I don't watch. Right? I don't watch his show, and I think that uh, FS1 probably needs to look into this. Right? But it would be a major blow. Uh, for them to cancel Skip Bayless's show. 
The new format is better, although it doesn't seem like his show anymore. Skip Bayless seems more like a moderator on his own show. Um, and I think he can seize the floor a little bit too much, but I understand he doesn't probably want to come off as combative as he was with Shannon Sharp because Shannon Sharp, with Shannon Sharp, he was very, very combative. But I think that's what makes Skip, right? I think that form of Skip is what makes him who he is. And now you're getting kind of this neutered version where he's more calm and like relax and he's not really going to push back. He's not really going to have a stronger. I don't think that works. I think we need the original Skip Bayless. And if he's going to have a, a fiery blow up on TV, so be it. Right. I think that's the skip that people are looking forward to. Um, and maybe that friction is what works. Right. Because as the article said, even though they had their mishaps on television, it was that uh, tension that existed. They were still drawing rate, dr pulling in ratings. And when they would go at it, it was great television. Hey, uh, these are just my thoughts. I don't have the answers to this. Maybe someone watching the show does. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think? Of, what do you think is the remedy for Skip's show? And do you think that is going to be on air for much longer? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you on the next show. Peace.